the way I came up with American Matador, it was a couple of different influences uh, early on, actually. Uh, growing up, uh, my father used to uh, be blasting uh, mariachi and flamenco music through the house when he would paint. And uh, I got so used to, to hearing that type of style, it just uh, became ingrained into my blood. I, especially the flamenco stuff, it just, there was a passion to it and an authority that was unparalleled by any other kind of music I'd ever heard. And, and then plus, being of Spanish descent, I think it was just in my DNA to begin with. But uh, I knew that being attracted to so many other different types of music at the time, I wasn't able to really devote the time that it took to be a proper flamenco player, but I had always respected those musicians, I think, above all others. And so I decided to write a, a tune uh, in 1991 that kind of typified my appreciation of that, uh, of that style. And I remember being in um, Washington, D.C. at the Smithsonian, and they had a painting of John Singer Sargent's El Jaleo, which was this unbelievable life-size uh, depiction of a flamenco dancer in a club. And it was just awe-inspiring. I sat there and stared at it for, like, probably easy <laughs> an hour. And um, it, it became the influence and the, the mental picture I had for the piece. And I had borrowed the title from... Uh, a poem by Charles Bukowski, American Matador, obviously, and uh, and also used uh, kind of the emotional template of Gino Vanelli's uh, Pauper in Paradise, which is something that was incredible uh, that I heard at the time. Uh, the operatic deliverance of that uh, that particular piece uh, kind of influenced me to go in that direction. <laughs> this it came out uh, in 1991 uh, on my second solo album and actually got the uh, the permission to use Singer Sargent's painting on the front uh, from the Isabella Stewart uh, Museum which was wonderful and uh, then when it came up again that we were going to be doing this orchestral thing my wife Joey said you know you should redo Matador because it always she had always apparently heard it as an orchestral piece and I, I could understand that I thought it she was absolutely right so it was kind of a tribute to her to redo this in, in this particular form. And it turned out great. Kittel Berkenstrand did an amazing arrangement of it and did justice to it and actually added to the uh, original orchestration that James Newton Howard had done. And uh, it, it turned out amazing. I, I couldn't be happy with it. 